Good afternoon, everybody. This is Jeff from Rust Bucket Valley Garage. Uh, I think we have a new record in the shop. This is the newest car that we have ever had in here for collision damage. This is a 2022 Toyota Corolla. Uh, less than 5,000 miles on it. And as you can see, uh, this is a point of impact right here. And there's also kind of a dent in the hood right here. It's kind of curled under. Uh, the one problem with this car is that uh, there's no parts available for it. Everything is on back order. Uh, we could use a, um, another grill. Uh, the grill has some scratching marks on right here. Uh, I believe the headlight is okay. Uh, the, the bumper cover really needs to be replaced, but we're going to have to see if we can take and repair this one because they are just not available. Um, in out looking for parts this morning. We were fortunate enough to find a bumper cover. It is in Florida and they won't ship it. So, uh, <laughs> so I guess we're going to have to take and do with what we have here. So, uh, First thing we're going to do is uh, we've got to take a look at the frame. Uh, this line here does not line up. It is open on this side here and it is closed on this side right here. We did a measurement. Uh, the radiator core support is bent about three eighths to half an inch. So we got to straighten that out. So first thing we've got to do is we've got to take the radiator closeout panel out and see what it looks like under that. So in removing the closeout panel, uh, looks pretty good in here. However, this horn right here for the radiator support, uh, cord support is, uh, is back a little bit too far. So we're going to have to take and uh, do a pull and pull this forward just a little bit. Um, I think before we do that, we want to take the, um, the front bumper cover off and we also want to take and remove the headlight. This headlight right here, for some reason, is inordinately expensive. Um, the dealer price of the headlight here is $1,094. So we want to uh, make sure we really preserve that. It doesn't look like there's any damage on it right now. So we want to kind of keep it that way. So uh, we'll take and uh, we'll pull the bumper cover off and you know what we find uh, uh, when we take and do that. So what we did is we pulled the frame here a little bit and um, this measures out and uh, we also took and did a couple other measurements and where where it should be. So we also take and removed a headlight and we sent that out to one of our friends who can take that scratch off there and uh, buff it out. So uh, and I was reviewing the uh, the first part of the video, and the price of the headlight did not come across. Uh, it is one thousand and ninety four dollars for a headlight. So yeah, we want to save that. <laughs> so uh, in the meantime, we've been working on the hood. We have the, uh, the hood straight and in prime, as you can see right here. Uh, we have the edge straight. Just the way it should be. So that was about 20 minutes worth of work. Uh, one thing it did take in um, cost cost us a little bit of time. Um, on the foreign cars, what they do is they put a uh, protective coating on here. This actually looks like a dirt line, okay, right here, and it's it's not. This right here is a membrane that they take and put on here, and they also put the membrane across the front of the hood. So since we're gonna do body work on there, we can't do anything on top of the membrane, so we had to take and, and uh, extract that off. We still gotta clean a little bit of the glue off here. As, uh, it didn't come off as easy as it should, but uh, we're gonna have to paint this entire hood. So we've been working on the bumper, and I'd like to take and show you that. This is one of our side shops uh, where we do bumpers and stuff like that. Um, 
we pretty much have this one almost ready to go for paint uh, we went in order to paint this morning this is a very very special paint they think a lot of their product for one quart it's $250 um, and then take special catalyst special thinner blah 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 all that stuff uh, there were a couple of areas on here uh, this is a special plastic filler that we needed to um, clean up some of these edges but uh, this area right here uh, in the original video there was a big uh, depression here so this right here we uh, fixed this this morning we heated this up and pressed on it a little bit with our super heavy duty uh, industrial hair dryer and, and uh, you hold it you know in position while it cools down and it takes a bow out of it all this here was smashed in um, this ridge here was smashed in we straightened that up uh, we did a preliminary sanding on it to get all the, the junk off of it that was uh, residual from the, uh, the wreck there were a couple of areas here that we had to fill uh, there was a notch about right here that we didn't like so we uh, remade this so this is actually plastic filler we'll go ahead and fill that uh, we'll sand that off and uh, this right here we'll go ahead and sand that off and then we'll put it in primer and it'll be ready to go so uh, we should have paint this afternoon should be uh, putting some uh, paint on it tomorrow generally we use single stage solid uh, uh, let me try that again. Single stage, solvent based. Uh, it's kind of a one step uh, paint. Uh, you do not have to take and clear coat it. Uh, there is not a formula for single stage for this vehicle. So we have to take and um, go ahead and put the base coat on and then let it flash for a little bit. Then we have to take and put. Um, clear coat on it and that's kind of a drag but uh, we'll go ahead and get it done but uh, it's coming along it's looking good so we have most of the kinks worked out of the bumper it's in primer uh, primer will tell you what's going on here uh, there's about three places here that we need to pay a little bit of attention to um, so we'll probably be painting this tomorrow um today is paint day thursdays are always paint day here uh if we got something to paint if it stands still long enough it's going to get a paint job on it um the stuff for the camry is not ready yet so we uh we got some of the jeep stuff ready and uh let me show you that so this right here is a rear tailgate. We've uh, got this ready to go. It's all taped up and everything. Gonna be mixing the paint up here in a couple of minutes. Take and um, get some paint on there. Gotta wipe it down. Um, this is the right front fender for the Jeep. We have that sanded and uh, it's ready to go. Um, we do also in the back here we've done a modification to the back of the vehicle and um, we have this uh, in primer it's sanded up it's masked off ready to go we got to take put a couple more pieces of tape on here to take and uh, make sure that um, everything stays when we take and blow the paint on it nothing moves around and guess who's going to help today <laughs> you know right babe so let's go ahead and get on with this so we have the hood removed off of the Corolla and since we had a problem getting the chip guard off and there was a diesel left on there we used our 3M eraser wheel and we removed most of it and we can sand the rest off so that's what we're going to do right now. So we DA'd the, um, the hood and everything looks nice and flat. And we tack ragged it and everything. 
got uh, everything all nice and clean and we'll let it rest for just a little bit and we'll come out and give it just a little more sanding and then clean everything off and then, uh, then we'll be putting some color on this today so as I said when I started this video if it stands still long enough it's going to get a coat of paint see not everything we do here first time in Rust Bucket Valley Garage goes perfect and this right here is a prime example of it uh, two days ago we put the base color and the uh, the base color laid down really nice on this hood and uh, we went ahead and we put the clear coat on and unfortunately the weather changed it got really warm so we use a medium reducer and the medium reducer um, evaporated too quickly and didn't allow the paint to uh, or the clear coat to flow out so we got a hood with orange peel on it uh, worst thing that could possibly happen so actually what we had to do is we had to sand all this back down and uh, we're going to give it another shot today. Uh, it's about 6.30 in the morning. It's nice and cool. A uh, little bit of humidity in the air. It's okay. Uh, it gave us an extra day to work on the bumper and get it perfect. This is the area da this is damaged right here. We did not put any paint on that. Uh, this is prepped and ready to go. We just have to tack rag that and blow it off. Same with this. Tack rag this and blow it off and uh, so after we take and sanded all this down we completed uh, painting the parts for the Jeep so we painted the grill and we painted the, uh, the fender so uh, that, came, that actually came out really nice because that's a different kind of paint that is a single stage paint where basically you spray it and it lays down and then there's no clear coat required okay this two stage paint uh, they did not have a formula for single stage paint for this make model in your vehicle so we had to use the uh, two stage so let me show you what the grill looks like so this is what the grill looks like came out uh, nice and shiny color laid down just exactly like it should be uh, yesterday afternoon Went ahead and we put the marker lights back in here, snapped those in, getting it ready to go back on the vehicle. So uh, let's get back to the hood and the bumper. So we'll go ahead and mix the paint up and we'll give this another shot. See what we can do today. And I'll, uh, we'll be back with you when we get it all sprayed out. Okay, so we got the color coat and the clear coat on the hood and the bumper. And this is flat. Everything flowed out perfectly. Uh, just when you're when you're doing paint, uh, it is so finicky, I'll tell you. Uh, we do a lot of paint. Uh, You'll see kind of a spotchiness in here, and that's actually a reflection from the clouds because we have uh, thunderstorms that are going to be running in this afternoon. So, uh, you know, so they kind of move around a little bit. Uh, we got the bumper. Um, we got the um, color in uh, base coat and clear coat on here. So, as soon as he's dry, probably tomorrow morning. Uh, then we ready to go back together. Get this thing out of here. So you can see we have the, uh, the hood finished and it's been remounted on the Corolla. And we have the, um, all the damage has been taken care of. We have the, uh, the bumper ready to go on. So, Let's take a look at that. So we have the bumper just sitting on there right now. Generally, uh, what I do is I hook the bumper on the top and then work from the top down. 
So you'll see it still needs to be uh, adjusted around the headlights and this just snaps in and then uh, there's a bunch of bolts that uh, come in from the bottom and don't forget to take and hook up all the electronics that because the uh, the radar unit is uh, right behind here okay so we already got that connected in so shoot a couple of bolts in it and I'll show you a picture of it when it's all done so here we have our completed project uh, the vehicle just got a bath and uh, everything lines up very nicely so this was the area that uh, that had the impact so <laughs> as I was saying everything is uh, straightened out now everything lines up the gaps are correct so and didn't use any parts just uses the resources we had available uh, straightened out the hood uh, and that was in the area over right here where we took and uh, straightened the hood out and repainted that and we took the uh, the bumper off took it in our back shop and took the uh, the dent out of that used a heat gun and a little bit of uh, plastic filler to take and get our profiles back we sent the uh, the headlight that had a big scratch in this area right here and that is now gone so it came out pretty good uh, like it customer supposed to come this afternoon pick it up We'll see what their reaction is. I'm sure they'll be pleased. Anyway, this is Jeff from Rust Bucket Valley. Uh, you can do a accident with no parts. How about that? Uh, this thing uh, should have uh, gotten a bumper, but uh, we managed to take and fix it. So I hope you have good luck with your projects, as we've had with this one right here. Uh, please subscribe. And if you hit the notification button, you will know when we do something next. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time.